May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. June 7, 2024 Solemnity of Most Sacred Heart of Jesus A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Then the Jews, because it was the preparation day, so that the bodies would not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a great day, they petitioned Pilate in order that their legs might be broken, and they might be taken away. Therefore, the soldiers approached, and, indeed, they broke the legs of the first one, and of the other who was crucified with him. But after they had approached Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers opened his side with a lance, and immediately there went out blood and water. And he who saw this has offered testimony, and his testimony is true. And he knows that he speaks the truth, so that you also may believe. For these things happen so that the scripture would be fulfilled, you shall not break a bone of him. And again, another scripture says, they shall look upon him, whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection How does the love and mercy flowing from Jesus' sacred heart inspire you to live a life of grace and compassion? But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. John 19 verses 33 to 34 John's Gospel is filled with deep spiritual imagery and symbolism. It is clear that this imagery and symbolism was divinely inspired, so as to give us spiritual food for reflection and meditation. One such image is given to us today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. As Jesus and the two criminals on either side of him, hung upon their crosses, the soldiers came to hasten their deaths by breaking their legs, to cause them to more quickly suffocate. But when they came to Jesus, he had already died. So one of the soldiers, traditionally known as Longinus, thrust his spear into Jesus' side, and blood and water flowed forth. Some traditions identify Longinus with the centurion, who cried out after Jesus' death, Truly, this was the Son of God. Other traditions state that he converted at that moment, making him the first convert to Christianity. And still other traditions state that Longinus could not see well, and the blood and water from Jesus' side poured upon his eyes, healing him. Regardless of whether these traditions are true, we know that Jesus' side was pierced, and blood and water flowed forth. The symbolism of this act was more than a mere human symbol. It was an instrument of the profound spiritual reality that was taking place at that moment. As Jesus' sacred heart was pierced, the blood and water that poured forth was the new sacramental life of the Church. The blood was the most holy Eucharist, and the water was the gift of baptism. And when Jesus had previously breathed his last and handed over his spirit, the sacrament of confirmation was bestowed. When we celebrate those sacraments today, it is easy to see them as mere symbols of what we partake in. But in our Christian tradition, the sacraments are so much more. The symbol is also the reality. It is the instrument of what it symbolizes. Therefore, every time we witness a baptism or partake in the Holy Eucharist, we are mystically present with Longinus, receiving the grace and mercy of our redemption, pouring forth from Jesus' wounded side, so as to heal us and make us whole. The human heart is, physically speaking, a bodily organ responsible for pumping blood throughout. But from a spiritual perspective, given that we are both body and soul, 
the human heart is also the source of our life. Without it, we physically and spiritually die. So it is with the sacred heart of Jesus. It was not only a physical heart that was physically pierced by the lance long ago. It is now also the source of our ongoing spiritual life, and without Jesus' sacred heart of mercy, we will die in our sins. Reflect today upon the most sacred heart of Jesus. See his heart as the ongoing source of your new life in grace. Understand that his heart is more than a symbol of his grace and mercy, it is the spiritual source and the font of that mercy. Prayerfully place yourself before his cross, this day, and allow the blood and water, flowing from his wounded side, to cover you, so that you too, may believe. Let us pray. Most sacred heart of Jesus, you poured out upon the world, the love and mercy of your transforming grace, through the instrument of the blood and water, pouring forth from your wounded side. Help me to gaze upon this font of mercy, and to be covered with it through the gift of the sacraments. May I always be open to all that you wish to bestow upon me, by these precious and transforming instruments of your love. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.